Hello, everybody, and welcome to video eight in our series. We're going to talk about spoke number five, industry class. This is another big one, particularly if you have a niche that you focus on, you're going to want to break down the industry class. Now, just a real quick recap on hub and spoke model. We're starting with, say, uh, a hub piece of content that might be workers comp, or you could start with the industry class. So you could start with, say, uh, HVAC contractors. And then the spokes could be best HVAC contractor insurance. Uh, what does HVAC contractor insurance cost, et cetera, right? So you could go workers comp and then go best workers comp for HVAC contractors and do your spoke model that way. Or you could start with your niche and then break out all the spokes off of that particular niche. And there's no reason that the spokes that, uh, a spoke for one line, like best workers' compensation insurance for HVAC contractors, can't also be a spoke for another. So this is where we start to cross-pollinate our videos, okay? You can see here, more detailed breakdown. The hub can either be, uh, say, in this case, a specific line like workers' comp or best New York insurance, best New York business insurance, New York business insurance, best... Uh, uh, New York business insurance for HVAC contractors. A lot of different ways you can break this down. It has to work for you and your business. When it comes to creating industry class content, this is pretty straightforward. Um, this is probably the most straightforward spoke out of all of them. I like to put the industry class at the front. So if I'm talking about general contractors insurance, seven coverages you must consider. Insulation contractor insurance, how to get the right coverage. All right, I don't like this hat. I always like to have a broad uh, video associated with that industry class and then break down from there like best insulation contractor insurance. What does insulation contractor insurance cost? How to find insulation contractor insurance, things like that. Those are all spokes that can come off of this main keyword. Remember, the further we get into a title, the less relevance that keyword term has in search results. Okay. So when we're talking about industry class content, again, what do we need to include? The industry, the product, and maybe a descriptor. So that could be insulation contractors, insurance, um, what is the best, or the best insulation contractors, insurance coverage, et cetera. Um, throwing on the end, every so like you could put like insulation contractor insurance, everything you need to know. Insulation contractor insurance, three common exclusions on every policy. Uh, something like that, right? So putting uh, the, the title of the industry, so in this case, uh, industry, um, insulation, contractors, work ins workers' compensation insurance, colon, everything you need to know, something like that. Very simple, very straightforward, draws people in. And then you want to have some detail about why th there's a, some specific thing about that industry that separates it. Now, for contractors, it could always be, uh, if you're talking about workers' compensation, something like uh, managing uh, managing their payroll, being efficient in managing payroll, considering going on paygo, something like that, so that you don't have a big audit bill, um, how independent contractors are handled specifically. And you can re-rack that for then HVAC, plumbing, et cetera. But there needs to be something specific to that industry that you're discussing. Uh, you could do trends for that industry. That's another good one. Um, uh, five, re five reasons insulation contractors insurance is hard to find, something like that. Um, you know, or why costs are going up or whatever, right? That's a trend. Uh, adding some personal data that you may have, uh, personal detail helps. Not as necessarily, um, you don't necessarily need to have a personal anecdote here, but displaying some intrinsic knowledge to that industry, even if it's something very small, uh, is going to help draw people in because it's going to sound more like you understand their business, which is uh, which is going to build trust in the relationship. And then why you should care about the specifics, like the impact of improperly managing independent contractors in a independent contractor or insulation contractor business can have this type of ramifications on your workers' compensation, something like that, right? So these little anecdotes, adding trends, adding specific details about that industry, and adding personal anecdotes, all of these draw them in to you as an expert in their field so they feel connected to you and ultimately that compels them uh, to reach out. 
Pretty standard stuff though with industry. So this is the fifth spoke and the eighth video in our first 10 videos that we make for our channel series. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to get uh, the how to get spoke, um, which is another important one. Uh, look for that in the next couple of days. In the meantime, if you have questions, you can always just hit reply to the email that uh, I sent to you that brought this video, or uh, you can always hit me up in my DMs on LinkedIn or Instagram. All right, guys, keep creating content.